Sage for me is a home. It's a place that I feel connected. It's a place that I feel safe. It's a place that allows me to be me. You know, I do have in the back of my head that old, getting old is about being alone, but one of the things that I love about my community is that I have a family of choice. And, you know, I want a place that we can all be together. Most of us don't have children or grandchildren. We have one another, and we've been family for one another as young people, and it's wonderful to see there's a, a place where we can continue to be family for one another as older people. Right now, we know that nationally there are about three million gay, lesbian, bisexual, and transgender individuals who are 50 or older. That number is going to double by 2020. This growth in the population means that we need more services, and by services I mean we need more services that assist in transportation, that assist in uh, housing. We need advocacy, we need special attention, we need a place like SAGE that can provide those services to our community. There's you. Robert. I feel like I've died and gone to social work heaven. Um, <laughs> You know, I can work with real people and do real things that make a difference that you can see. It's just wonderful to know that Robert doesn't have to worry about paying his rent, to know that another person is now, you know, getting the medication they need because we were able to get Medicaid, or they're, they're going to eat every day because they have food stamps. I don't know what men my age would do without a Jimmy. I really don't. I don't know how you would exist. You need help, and Sage has been the answer for me, and I am so grateful. I think the reinventing aging concept, the concept itself, is something that we have to put out into the community because we have an opportunity here, historically, to really turn around not only our communities, concept of aging and the way that we deal with it, but this whole culture. The minute Gigi walked in here, she came as a friend. And I'm pretty sure that I've made a friend. I needed someone initially because I live alone. And there are times that the friends come more often and then there are times there's that slack. But to look forward to seeing someone and meeting someone and being in someone's company for just a few minutes means so much. And it makes me get up and do a lot of things I wouldn't do. It's just beautiful. It's, I, I don't know how else to express it, excepting that I'm the luckiest person, I think, that's in SAGE. It's been an incredible gift in addition to my life that I wouldn't change for anything. It's not like I volunteer for someone. It's, it's, I agree with him what he said. It's, you've made a friend. Stars shining bright above you. I think that it's just the beginning. Thank God we have older gay people. You know, there was a time when it didn't look like we were going to have many older gay men. Thank goodness. Dream a little dream. Who will honor us? Who will hold us when we are old? Dream of